Blanna Sturger here, and today I'm going to show you my top 10 favorite Pokemon cards. Well, cards, yeah. Number 10, Bronzong. Bronzong is awesome because he can he could do enough damage, but not to kill him. And also, he he was like a little plate looking thing that evolved that evolves into like a robot. This robot is awesome, but yeah, that's why he's number 10. He's not really that good. He can be really good if you evolve him. I mean, level him up a lot. Number nine, Cloyster. Cloyster is awesome, but I'm not gonna make him number one because, like, whenever in the game, he he doesn't learn any more moves after you evolve him because he evolves with the Water Stone, and also because um because he um whenever you whenever you evolve him, you can only learn certain types of moves. You cannot. Like, you want to have those perfect moves. The only way you can, uh, like, use the moves, uh, make him have moves, is, like, either, like, find a move relearner or just give him TMs and HMs. But I would just... I have him number nine because he's just that... He's a beast. Number eight. Ursaring. First, he, he's in t a Teddy Ursa. It could be really... The Teddy Ursa can... Looks like it's it's like harmful, harmless. I mean, harmless, and the and he wouldn't do anything. But after he evolves at level twenty, he's a beast. Okay, number seven, Go Goat. Go Goat came out at in Pokemon X and Y. He's been my favorite because um he's been he's like really cool. And also because um, um, he he can be very strong. First, he's like a little lamb. He's like a little lamb, and then he he just becomes a really cool Pokemon. Number six, Gyarados. Gyarados is the sea sea snake Pokemon. The cool thing about him is that is that um. He he's like a little like a little carp, like a little fish. Then like, and you you don't think that he's really good, but until you evolve him at level twenty, just twenty is like, like you think that's hard, but it's not. You can catch magic carps at like level level like nineteen and eighteen, and then you just have to level him up two times, and it's really easy. And he evolves into this the sneeze cease. I almost said sneeze. Sea snake Pokemon. A sea, a sea snake Pokemon can nose, dragon rage, and all that. Number five. Drapion. Drapion is cool, but the thing is, I didn't know how to evolve him. I couldn't figure it out because I couldn't uh, evolve my Scorpy. So I just started playing Pixelmon on Minecraft, and th and that's how I started learning it. You could f catch him in the wild. <laughs> that's a funny thing. Okay, and he it could be really strong. Number five, Slacking. Slacking would have been number one, but until so, like I keep playing, I played it on my DS. It's it's just it's kind of annoying to play with uh, use him. It's kind of annoying to use him. Because of using him, because whenever you use him, he can loaf around and it's just annoying. Slacking, he's so really cool. I think this is a fake Pokemon card because Knuckle Sandwich isn't a real move. But number four, Scizor. Ha, <laughs> that rhymed. Scizor has been my favorite because um he's he's um he can do. He can do like so. He has false swipe. He can know how to use false swipe. That's the cool thing. Okay, I'll just count my Pokemon cards. I thought I. Well, um, he Scizor. First, he starts with like like little um like blades on his hands as a scyther. And then he just has like, like the, um, what's it called, like crab, uh, like corefish. Like he has um, those um, claw things. That's how Scissor has it. Scissor. He's a really cool Pokemon. Okay, number two. 
Mega Aerodactyl. Mega Aerodactyl is a really cool Pokemon. It can be really strong and it knows some good moves. But he's not my number one because my favorite Pokemon of all Pokemon is you'll see after this. But um I like I picked Aerodactyl as number two because he has like Japanese words right here and it's all cool. Oh wait, sorry guys, I dropped the Pokemon card. Okay. Okay, bear with me, the, the guys. This is the like like the top ten hardest Pokemon to catch at the first evolution. Number one, Metagross. Metagross is my favorite Pokemon because of his animation. I was like, oh my gosh, hope I hope that's not a legendary. It wasn't, but it's actually one of the strongest Pokemon's to, in my opinion. In my opinion. In my opinion, because he, in my card, he has 150 health, and in the shiny version, I loved it because it's it's silver. Really, that's awesome. Well, the only thing I don't like about him is that it's hard to catch. You have to like throw a master ball or something to catch a Beldum. And guys, I also have a Beldum card, but I can't find it. But this is why I love Metagross. Metagross is awesome. Well, I guess this is going to be the end of this video, but thank you all for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new to my channel, and bye. Have a great day.